All right, friends, don't judge me. I just moved into my new property, um, and I have not fully set up my office just yet, but it is coming along, so I'm super excited about that. So let's jump into the first tip. So let's just talk about what the actual market is looking like right now. Um, right now, we have about 4.2 months of inventory in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, which means that we are officially no longer in a seller's market. We are in a balanced market, which I believe is shifting, you know, what is it, suddenly and then, gra well, no, no, it's, it's gradually and then suddenly. So I do think we're suddenly going into a buyer's market, uh, but I'm not going to say that we're going to fully go into a full swing of it just yet. However, last year, around the same time, inventory was at about 3.1 um, months of inventory. So we've gone up like a whole entire month. So the market is shifting. And so what that means for one, for buyers, let's talk to buyers first and then I'll, I'll jump to my sellers. Is buyers, you have buying power right now. Do not sleep on this buying power. It will not always be here, okay? Um, I wouldn't have bought this house if we, there was no buying power. I officially have two properties. If you guys would like me to walk you through like the ins and outs of this deal, I walked into this house with at least 55 plus thousand dollars of debt. Um, I said debt, yeah. So if you guys want me to break that down, please put in the comments, please break down what you had to do, what your monthly payment is, so you guys can get an idea of that. Also buyers, it's beautiful that interest rates have come down. Um, they're not coming down significantly. Even the feds have talked about, you know, that they're gonna come down slowly. So. The feds do not meet in October, so the next time they meet will be in November and December. Um, we're in September right now, and they cut the points like 50. Um, they are saying they're not gonna be cutting that aggressively in November and December, so be aware of that. It's most likely gonna be like 25, 25. So if you're looking to continue to wait because you feel like interest rates are gonna drop even more, let me tell you why you shouldn't wait. You're gonna pay more because home prices are gonna start going up when when interest rates go up go down so be aware of that so what i would tell you buyers is go get your pre-approval see what you can afford get into the game now because there's so many incentives when it comes to new construction people are more sellers are giving concessions it's already like in the bottom line i remember going on a listing appointment i had two listing appointments last week and i already put in a good amount of a concession for them to expect to pay. So that's for repairs, or if that's something that the buyers need, sellers are realistic that one, they wanna sell, and two, that you might need some assistance. So do not sleep on this great opportunity of taking advantage of your buying power. So get pre-approved, schedule a strategy session with me. I would love to walk you through what it looks like to buy the next three months, or next month, or the next nine years. And the, the faster and the more you have a plan, the easier it is to actually accomplish it. So be aware of that. Just because inventory is picking up does not mean that you're not gonna sell. What it means is, one, you need to price your property right the very first time. When you go onto the market, it's a beauty contest and it's also a pricing contest. So you need to be in the top, you know, the top percent of beauty and then you also need to be in the lower bottom or not even the lower bottom, but the decent size price. Um, I also tell my sellers right now to you is there's only two reasons why homes don't sell, condition or price. So make sure that if the condition matches the price, your property should go off the market pretty quick and the buyer should want to snag it up. You'll know within, I would say, three to seven days if you have missed the mark with the price because usually every 10 showings equals one offer. So you want to get as many eyes on it as possible, many people coming in to see the property, but that starts with the photos. Make sure you have professional photos so people will even want to come and actually tour your home. And I know we have about four or five more months before the end of the year, and if you are looking to actually purchase a property or sell your property during these holiday times, make sure you have a strategic plan because just throwing it on the market to you know test out the price it's not the best idea to do in this market. Remember, real estate is very volatile. Also, my buyers, let's talk about what you can afford. What is your budget? Let's see if we can find something that meets that criteria. Remember, 80% of your needs are met 
The other 20 you can create once you move into the house. There is no perfect home. Even when I bought this home, I was like, oh, I wish they would have done this. I wish they would have done that. But guess what? I can make that 20% that I'm like, oh, I can make it myself. I can create it here. So I hope this encourages you guys. These are my must know insights of what it takes to actually purchase a property and to buying or selling. It all matters with your mindset. Mindset is everything, guys. So you need to have the right mindset to know that you can actually sell your property and also make sure you have an agent that's not just telling you what you want to hear. They're actually giving you the facts of what your home can sell for. And then for my buyers, the mindset of like, you can too. This is my second property. I want everyone to be able to own a property and not only own one, own multiple. Like your retirement plan can be your you know portfolio of real estate. There's so many there's so many ways that you can truly build wealth through real estate. And I just trust that you will schedule a strategy session to at least get started. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. And I trust that this has brought you value.